What's up, Muscle and Strength? This is IFBB Pro Bodybuilder Patrick Moore. Today we are here at One to One Training Center here in Houston, Texas, my hometown. And I'm gonna take you guys through a pretty awesome chest workout today. The goal is always to beat the package you did before. So once you got feedback from the judges, on the Olympia, they told us more size, which was cool. I mean, it's bodybuilding. So you're obviously gonna wanna always put on more muscle. So that's gonna affect the way you train. I've been doing a lot more big compound movements, aiming more for size. So the reps are a little bit lower, weights a little bit heavier, intensity is a little higher once you get closer because you gotta burn those calories. You don't wanna waste a lot of time between the sets and letting your muscles cool down. So it's kinda like go, go, go. If the intensity is higher, it kinda acts like a third cardio session for me. real good and it's crazy because that's the whole stack and since it is a little bit lighter than what I'm normally used to I kind of slowed the tempo down so when you do that it actually gives you a chance to feel it more in the muscle as opposed to just kind of running through the reps because if something light of course you're gonna be inclined to want to just rush through the set but bodybuilding it's about sculpting so you're gonna have to make sure you're contracting the muscle so if you slow it down you get more out of the muscle than you do as if you were just trying to just bounce through it. So work the positive and the negative on, on flies because it stretches the chest out. And then once you squeeze, you contract it and that's what creates like round peg. I like to do like instinct training. So for me, depending on the muscle group, some stuff you don't need a lot of rest. So if I was in here training arms, you notice the tempo would be very, very quick because smaller muscle groups don't really require a lot of time to recover set to set. Same thing, you know, it's the same concept for legs. You're doing squats, that rest time's gonna be a little bit longer because bigger muscle group, big compound movement. Yeah. Do a drop set on this one. Having like that thicker chest up top, it's just better. So I'm hitting like a side chest. I don't go flat up top like a lot of guys, you know, cause they don't really target that. They'll target more flat, flat pressing. So I do more incline because you get like these little tie-ins and stuff. You get those going, it makes it pretty gnarly looking if you're hitting like a most muscular or something because you have all that going on up top and your shoulders don't shrink your chest down, makes, you know, it makes the shot look more complete. Oh yeah, yeah, you have to, because that's what you're presenting. So you're on stage if, for instance, take 
you know you see a lot of guys doing cables, right? Um, I could sit there and just do the cables and just go through the motion and, and act like I feel it. Or say if my favorite most muscular is a crab shot. Well, in a crab shot, you bring your arms from the back and you squeeze your chest as you go into it. So if you have cables and they're here, then why not contract your chest and then hit, hit the shots? So if you do that, you're training your muscles in a fashion in which you're gonna use them on stage. Same thing with if we were doing, you'll see like a lot of guys do their lats or back double, back double bicep. Well, you imitate a pull down when you do that. So you see guys turn around and they'll reach up like this and they pull down and then they pop into the shot. They're mimicking just what they're doing with the exercise. So when you do that, you communicate with your muscle like that it makes hitting those poses really good because a lot of guys can have a good physique, but if they can't present, present it on stage, it's, there's no point. So all that starts in the gym with your training. A lot of guys will ask if I ever do decline because the bottom of my chest is so full. I've never done decline, not one time. And I'm still growing. So with every chest movement, like I said, just try to target that insertion point. I see a lot of people doing a lot of variations, using machines in ways they shouldn't be used. Like my, I think the one I see the most is people will use a press machine and they'll sit sideways in it thinking that that's gonna grow the inside. That's simply not true. You can only grow your chest by pushing away from the body. You can't push to the inside, it just doesn't work like that. So, old school basic stuff. This is kind of targeting overall chest development. Um, if you want to see those crazy lines in your chest, this is going to be the machine to do it. Basically, I'm using this as a finisher because what it allows me to do using a hammer strength is I can squeeze each side individually. Bodybuilding, it's all about the details, not just size. I wanna make sure I'm getting that squeeze at the very end. And that's how you force the muscle to push up against the skin. So you gotta do that. This is detail work, basically. Alright guys, that wraps it up for the chest workout. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and follow below.